Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my channel. In front of you, you can see a touch LCD 1.28 inches display, but this one is integrated with ESP32-S3 module. So what is interesting about this device? So you have both LCD touchscreen with module, so you don't have to connect any pins in order to make this working. You can use it both as command interface and as any other ESP32 microcontroller. This particular model has a USB Type-C port, let me show you. So you don't need to connect uh, any, uh, any pins in order to uh, program this device. And it can produce really nice graphics. Uh, well, uh, this device uh, works uh, with uh, LGVL library. That means that we have IDE in order to help us to create our graphics. But that's not going to be the subject for this episode. Today I'm just going to show you a basic example of how to put this device to work. This is Waveshare website uh, with a page about my device. It's strongly recommended for you to uh, read this through, so in order to understand uh, what uh, this device possesses. And what I mean by that? Uh, namely, you want uh, to know uh, what chip you have uh, for a touch chip and for display chip. You want to know resolution, it's uh, 240 times 240. Of course, you want to know uh, what kind of uh, interface you are going to use in order to connect to this device and actual display size. Aside of this information, you want to know about uh, sensors, you want to know about uh, Wi-Fi uh, connections, uh, Bluetooth connections and plus general input output pins uh, that this device can provide. Let me show you that part. So on the back side, we have this uh, socket uh, with uh, these uh, six uh, general input output pins and standard 3.3 volts, ground pins, reset button, so. So if you want to uh, integrate this uh, display into some bigger project, that is easy to do. In here, uh, we have a table uh, about uh, connections, but we are going to talk about this part later. So don't put your faith in this table. I'm going to show you later why. Now we are going to talk a little bit about display and about coordinate system in this display. You have 00, zero point uh, in uh, top left corner and 240, 240 point in uh, bottom right corner. Pixels within uh, this uh, circular display are visible and these outside are not. So that is the only thing that you should be careful about. Let's see what else we can find in here interesting. Actually everything is interesting but we are not going to read through everything in this episode. So now what is important from uh, this part for you to know? I'm going to use Visual Studio Code for my project and I need this Arduino development tutorial. I'm going to open this page in new tab. So if you are using Arduino IDE, here you are going to find the instructions uh, about how to install this uh, library. And down here, you are going to find instructions of uh, platform I.O. Uh, but we are going to take different approach. I'm going to close this page and navigate to the bottom of uh, this page. I'm looking for one specific link. Yeah, this one. If you click on this one, we are going to uh, download uh, this package, ESP32-S3 touch a lib. And I already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do that once again. Let me show you. In here, I have this uh, library unpacked. And this library is absolutely necessary if you want to use uh, LVGL. But we are not going to do that for now, but we still need uh, one specific file. So I'm going to open this uh, TFT ESPI setup in here and I have this file in here. I'm going to open it. So what I have in here? In here I have specification about my device. So I have a list of pins that I'm going to use in order to uh, define my SPI connection. So if you have not up to now, uh, navigate uh, to your uh, Visual Studio code and uh, open a new project. Uh, this is what you need to have in platform INI. So my environment, it's uh, ESP32 uh, S3 USB OTG, platform it's ESP32, board it's uh, ESP32 S3 USB OTG, 
and framework Arduino. And now, first thing that we are going to do, we are going to install one additional uh, dependency. Uh, let me show you uh, what is going to be, what that is going to be. So first, uh, in this episode, we are going to deal with display. I'm going to show you the simplest of ways uh, to utilize your uh, display capabilities. So my display chip, it's a GC9A01A. And I'm going to copy that. Uh, Visual Studio Code, go to Platform IO, Libraries, and I'm going to paste that. Adafruit uh, GC9A01A. I'm going to uh, install this uh, library. I'm going to add it to my project, project name. Yeah, ESP32 around display. Add. All right, I have it. I'm going to copy this code because I feel lazy today. Main CPP, I'm going to include this. All right, and now first we are going to uh, create the object of this display. So it's Ada Fruit uh, GC9A01A. And I'm going to call it TFT. But now, now it's important part. I'm going to open this file once again and you see what we have in here. We have to define uh, these uh, pins. So DC it's uh, 8, uh, CS it's 9. Let me check what we have to use first. So I'm going to use this uh, fifth over there, override. So we have first to provide CS, then DC. Let me check. CS, 9 and 8. First it's 9, second number it's 8. Then we have to provide uh, MOSI and clock. Let me check. So MOSI is 11 and clock is 10. So 11, 10, 11, 10. Now reset and MISO. What is reset? 14 and 12, 14, 12. All right, we have it. So guys, this is uh, really important uh, to have right numbers. Otherwise, this is not going to work. Now, if you have some other device uh, with some uh, other display chip, how to uh, know uh, which number to use? Let me show you. Uh, in this very same library, what you are going to do? Go to TFT uh, underscore ESPI. In here you have a user setup and a user setup select. First I'm going to open this uh, user setup select. And now you see in here what you have. You have a setup uh, name. This is name of uh, file. So setup one, two, three and so on. And in here you can usually see a uh, name of your chip. In here you can find the description uh, for what microcontroller you can use it and size of display. When you find file that you want, for example, let's say setup 36. I'm just show, showing an example. So we are looking for setup 36. I'm going to uh, close uh, this document and now go to user setups. And now what we are looking, we are looking, looking for setup 36. Let me find it. It's 36, okay. Now we have a pin data for that particular device. So in this way, you are going to find your pin out in order for you to know how to set your object. Okay, if that is clear, I'm going to close all of this. And uh, first thing that we are going to do, we are going to say TFT begin. All right. And now let's write something. Okay, I'm going to use my uh, TFT object and uh, I'm going to use fill screen. 
let's see we have to provide color we can provide color in uh, multiple ways so i'm going to write something like uh, gc and uh, i'm going to select this uh, gc uh, 9a uh, 01a let's go with uh, let's go with dark cyan it doesn't matter and on top of that what i want to do i want to use uh, tft fill circle okay now check this out what we have of these arguments uh, we have x1 and y1 and as i said top left corner it's zero zero so if you want to draw your uh, circle or any other object in the middle of the screen you are going to use coordinates 120 and 120 because this is 240 by uh, 240 screen and are its uh, diameter i'm going to say something like uh, let's let's go with 40 and i'm going to provide color but now with uh, tft not tft color 565 like this and now we are going to provide argument in between 0 and uh, 255 uh, for all three components so uh, for red i'm going to use 250 for a green i'm going to use uh, let's say 100 and for blue i'm going to use let's say 200 completely doesn't matter and we are going to uh, copy this part so now in a second second i uh, also want to clear my screen with this color but now we are going to fill let's say rectangle with rectangles we have different arguments so 120 by 120 are going to be coordinates uh, still and width it's going to be let's say 60 height is going to be 40 and i'm going to select color with uh, gc let's find something interesting okay navy doesn't matter and i'm going to add one more and now i'm going to show you one more thing i'm going to use a tft uh, set a rotation uh, a rotation it's not exactly what you think it is with this function you cannot say like uh, rotate next picture by 20 degrees no there are four states of uh, rotation uh, with zero we are not going to rotate with one we are going to rotate by 90 degrees so uh, i'm going to use a one and with two you are going to uh, rotate by 140 sorry 180 and with three we are going to uh, rotate by 90 degrees but in opposite direction then i'm going to use a tft uh, type text now i'm going to set text color and i'm going to copy this navy color okay now tft text text size let's set it to something like five and in here we are going to say tft print ln we are going to print something like hey but this function has no arguments about coordinates so in order to set coordinates for uh, our text we are going to say tft uh, set cursor and we are going to say something like 120 by 120 this looks uh, nice i have connected uh, my uh, microcontroller with a display and now i am going to build and upload this project ah but i forgot about something let me show you something first uh, before we continue i'm going to uh, open my brave browser once again and let me show you this uh, table with pins this is important part lcd bl uh, what is bl uh, bl stands for for uh, backlight without uh, setting a pin for a backlight too high we are not going to be able to see anything on our screen 
In order to do that, I'm going to uh, add uh, two more uh, lanes, uh, lines in here. So I'm going to say uh, pin mode for uh, pin two. Sorry. Output and digital write on pin two high. All right, now it's going to work. I'm going to build this project and I'm going to upload it. So guys, as I promised, uh, we have our uh, text, circle and a rectangle. So this was the first episode about uh, this uh, beautiful piece of equipment. Uh, in next episode, we are going to talk more. So guys, thank you all for watching and see you next episode.